My name is John Larkin and I'm an associate clinician here at the Banyans and I specialise in porn and sex addiction treatment and diagnosis. There are two or three key signs as to whether a person might have a problem with porn or pornography um, and whether it might be damaging their relationships. One of those key signs is whether or not that person has tried to stop the behaviour in the past repeatedly and failed. So they're aware that they might have a problem, they've tried to stop and they can't stop. That's a key one. Another one is that people might continue with their behaviour in spite of negative consequences. So even though it's hurting them or others, including loved ones, the relationship they may have with a partner, they continue to, to perform that behaviour. So those are two key ones. Other ones are relating to whether it's affecting their work, their productivity, uh, whether they're neglecting other important parts of their life. So there's a, a range of key things there that all, I guess, tie into the concept of unmanageability, lack of control, uh, out of control. Treatment for porn addiction uh, involves helping the individual uh, learn to live their life in alignment with their values and to do that we have to help them understand what is it and what has it been that's driving their behaviour and if that involves childhood developmental insults we call it or trauma we need to go back and have a look at those um, events that occurred that aren't fully dealt with or processed and healed so that's one part of the developmental history we call it family of origin where we, we help the individual go back and unpack that childhood and that early development years. We also teach individuals how to identify dysfunctional thoughts or beliefs and to able to re-script those so that they can uh, rewrite how they view the world and how they view themselves. And another important part is learning how to manage emotional states. wonderful program here that covers the holistic approach to this but ultimately the success is based on the commitment of the individual to receiving and practicing their treatment and if there's a couple involved a couple must do this together 